Welcome back to Real Jerry, where we explore the latest news and developments in Africa and the world at large. We will be taking a closer look at some mega projects in Tanzania. Today, we will be discussing one of the most significant development initiatives underway in Tanzania, the Standard Gauge Railway (SGR) and the potential benefits it offers to the country. Tanzania will become the third country in East Africa to start enjoying modern railway services after Kenya and Ethiopia. Kenya was the first country in the region to start the construction of an SGR line, completing over 500 kilometers between Mombasa and Nairobi, and also inaugurating its passenger services in June 2017. The government of Tanzania is currently expanding the country's rail network with the construction of a standard gauge railway SGR, to replace the old, inefficient meter gauge railway system. The SGR railway has the ability to carry heavy loads at high speed as opposed to the current meter gauge railway MGR. Tanzania's SGR uses electric locomotives and has the capacity to transport passengers and cargo shipments at 160 km per hour. The SGR will link Tanzania from the port of Dar es Salaam on the Indian Ocean to the port of Mwanza on the shore of Lake Victoria in northern Tanzania, and from there to neighboring countries of Rwanda, Burundi, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo DRC. The SGR consists of a network of about 2,000 kilometers developed in six phases. With Phase 1, from Dar es Salaam to Morogoro. Phase 2, Morogoro to Makatupura. Phase 3, Makatupura to Tabora. Phase 4, Tabora to Isaka. Phase 5, Isaka to Mwanza. Phase 6, Tabora to Kagoma. Phase 1, the Dar es Salaam to Morogoro stretch. The Dar es Salaam Morogoro railway line is the first section of the SGR to be completed. The construction was inaugurated on April 12, 2017 and was completed in April 2022. The line covers a distance of 300 kilometers and was constructed by a Turkish company, Yapi Merkizi, in partnership with Portuguese company Moto Angel. The project cost approximately $1.2 billion, which was financed by a loan from the Export-Import Bank of Turkey. Construction was completed in April 2022 and the railway is currently in the testing phase. Once fully operational, the line is expected to transport up to 10,000 passengers and 2,500 metric tons of cargo daily. Phase 2, the Morogoro to Makatupura stretch. The morogoro makatupura railway line is the second section of the SGR. The project was launched in March 2018 and is currently under construction. The line covers a distance of 422 kilometers and is being constructed by Yapi Merkizi. The project is expected to cost approximately $1.9 billion and is being financed by a loan from the Turkish Exim Bank. Once operational, the line is expected to transport up to 2,500 metric tons of cargo daily. Phase 3, the Makatupura to Tabora. The project began in April 2022 and is currently under construction. The line covers a distance of 294 kilometers plus an additional 78 kilometers of intersections and is being constructed by Yapi Merkizi. The project is expected to cost approximately $1.3 billion and is being financed by the Turkish Exim Bank. Once operational, the line is expected to transport up to 2,500 metric tons of cargo daily. Phase 4, the Tabora Isaka Stretch. The agreement for the construction of the line was signed in July 2022, and construction began in January 2023. The line covers a distance of 130 kilometers plus an additional 35 kilometers of intersections and is being constructed by Yapi Merkizi. The project is expected to cost approximately $700 million and is being financed by the Tanzanian government. Once operational, the line is expected to transport up to 1,200 metric tons of cargo daily. Phase 5, the Isaka Mwanza Stretch. The project was launched in January 2021 and is currently under construction. The line covers a distance of 249 kilometers and is being constructed by China's Civil Engineering Construction Corporation and China Railway Construction. The project is expected to cost approximately $1.3 billion and is being financed by a loan from the Chinese Exim Bank. Once operational, the line is expected to transport up to 2,500 metric tons of cargo daily. Phase 6, the Tabora Kagoma Stretch. This is the final section of the SGR. The agreement for the construction of the line was signed in December 2022, and construction is expected to begin soon. 
The line covers a distance of 506 kilometers and is being constructed by China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation and China Railway Construction. The project is expected to cost approximately $2.5 billion and will be financed by a loan from the Chinese Exim Bank. Once operational, the line is expected to transport up to 2,500 metric tons of cargo daily. The SGR project is expected to bring numerous economic benefits to Tanzania. Firstly, the new railway will significantly reduce transportation costs for both passengers and cargo. This is because the SGR will provide an efficient and affordable means of transport for people, goods, and services across the country. This will lead to reduced costs of doing business, increased trade, and higher economic growth. Secondly, the SGR will create numerous job opportunities for Tanzanians. During the construction phase of the railway, thousands of Tanzanians were employed, and many more jobs are expected to be created once the railway is fully operational. This will help to reduce the country's high unemployment rate and improve the standard of living for many Tanzanians. Thirdly, the SGR will improve Tanzania's connectivity with its neighboring countries such as Rwanda, Burundi, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. This will provide an opportunity for Tanzania to increase its trade with these countries and strengthen its position as a regional hub for trade and commerce. Finally, the SGR will help to reduce Tanzania's dependence on road transport, which is currently the primary means of transportation for people and goods in the country. This will lead to reduced road congestion, improved road safety, and lower carbon emissions, which will contribute to a cleaner and healthier environment. That was it about the Standard Gauge Railway project in Tanzania. We would love to hear your opinions on this mega project and how it will impact the country and region as a whole. Mention it in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Real Jerry for more updates on Africa and TH World at large. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.